Hi, my name is Luke Adams with NRS. This is David Foyt. Uh, we're here today in Austin, Texas, uh, kind of highlighting the NRS Chinook Fishing PFD. I want to tell you a few things about the features and what this jacket can do for you to really kind of make it a, a versatile jacket that you can wear when you're out on the water um, and you've got all your tackle and everything uh, that you need to, to fish for the day. Um, so what we talk about here is uh, all the different things that you can do. Um, this jacket can pretty much accommodate all the tools, all the boxes, everything that you need for a good day on the water. Uh, we start with kind of the lower pockets here. Um, I use these bottom pockets to store the majority of my tackle, uh, whether I'm fly fishing or spin fishing. These can really accommodate multiple size of fly boxes and tackle boxes, uh, pretty much accommodating everything that you need to bring. Uh, these outside pockets here are split. I generally use these for tippet. I use these for you know any kind of leader, and I use these for my weights a lot. Um, small sinkers, split shots, anything like that will fit into these smaller pockets, and they're expandable as well, so you can definitely get some good size range in here. As we work away kind of up the jacket, we've got a tab on the front here. I generally use this for my pliers. Uh, attach it through one of the top lanyards, one of these top attachment points. You can easily talk, uh, tuck your pliers, your forceps, whatever you're using to kind of, uh, you know, tuck them in here, keep them out of the way. Uh, but yeah, you're there when you need to remove a lure uh, from a fish. So uh, the lash tab up top is pretty universal. Um, this is standard on a lot of the life jackets we use uh, for fishing. It's always good to carry a knife with you. Uh, you never know when you're going to get tangled in something, especially in a kayak, uh, whether it's your anchor rope, a leader, some sort of steel cable, uh, things happen. So it's always nice to have a safety feature. Having a knife on you is, is always a positive. Uh, when I move over here to this top pocket, I fly fish from time to time. Again, spin fishing depends on what you're wanting to do. Uh, but I actually run multiple uh, leaders through this. So I'll use my tippet line. There's drain holes in the bottom of this pocket. So I'll put a 5X tippet, a 4X tippet. Uh, various size of leaders that I use and I just string them out as I need them. The drain holes are great I just run the line right through the bottom pull out whatever you need clip it tie it on and you're good to go uh, Also on the inside of that is a key loop if you want to put your keys in here We always try to include this on a life jacket and make sure that you've got your keys clipped So in case uh, something happens, you're not going to lose the the key to your car uh, We also add a little fly patch to the outside great spot to just kind of quickly put a lure or a fly uh, Depending on you know how busy you are perhaps there's a fish on um, sometimes you just need to make a, a quick spot, you know, some place to hide your lure for that for the time being. Uh, we also add a rod holder loop to this as well. So this bottom tab here is a rod holder loop. So you take the butt of your fly rod, butt of your spinning rod, throw it down through this loop. Then the rod will come across the top of the jacket, attach here to this top Velcro piece, makes it so you can uh, tie hands free. So if you've got an expensive rod, whether it's a fly rod or a spinning rod, I'll put a lot of money into those from time to time. So it's uh, great to not have to set the thing down. Just put it right on the front of the jacket, tie your lure, and get going. Um, some of the other features that we've added, we add a retractable tool holder. Um, this is where I'll put my clippers. I put my line mender, um, glue, floatant, you know, various things that I use uh, on the water often. I all attach it all to this uh, retractable tool holder. The nice thing about this is it's removable. You can take this, you could actually add it into another fly fishing vest or another PFD if you have one. Um, so you can really take this and kind of move it around from spot to spot. Um, some of the other things that we've added into it, all the adjustment points, it's great to be able to tighten the jacket and make sure that you can get a comfortable fit for it. Uh, we've also kept a lot of re the reflective off of here. So unlike a lot of our sea kayaking va uh, vests and life jackets um, that add a lot of reflective, we want that visibility. But when it comes to fishing, oftentimes you're going to be catching a trophy fish. So you're going to have that thing there. We really don't want the flash to ever snap back on a photo. So we really try to keep a lot of the reflective off of these PFDs, mainly because we know you're going to be in front of the camera, hopefully. Um, some of the other things, if you turn to the back real quick, we do add some, some spots for safety. So if you do want to go offshore, if you're in a big lake, we do give you the spot here to add a strobe. Make sure you have a light on you at all times, especially if you're offshore. Uh, personally, I wet wade from time to time, so I like this D-ring loop on the back. This is where I actually attach my net. Uh, oftentimes I'll get out of my raft, I'll get out of my boat, and I'll you know, hike upstream so that I can fish a particular hole or a particular eddy. Um, so I like to have everything on the jacket, including my net, because I, I really use this as my fly fishing vest. Uh, another great feature for the NRS Chinook is the mesh back option. Uh, a lot of boats nowadays have seats that are real high up. Uh, seats kind of become more and more comfortable. It's almost like a lawn chair in a boat anymore. So we like to kind of bring that PFD up a little bit so that you're not going to have that uh, pushing against the back of the seat. Makes it really comfortable. Also have, offers a lot of ventilation for you. Um, it's a PFD first, but after that, it's really my vest. It's where I keep everything, including all my tools, my net, you name it. 